Hi, it's Ben Luck from Patreon. In this video, I'll be reviewing the LEGO Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Tyrannodon Chase set number 75926. This is the first minifigure of the set, and the first minifigure of the set is Owen Grady. This is a relatively simple minifig, but it does have some nice details to it. I really like the torso print on this minifig because it looks really well detailed. There's lots of really nice printing, such as the pouches on the jacket and the creases on the shirt. I also really like the face print on this minifig because it looks really accurate to how the character looks in the films. This minifig also has a really good but simple leg print that shows a belt and a pouch. On the back this minifig has a alternate facial expression and a little bit of printing on the torso. Here is the second minifig of the set and the second minifig of the set is the ACU Trooper. This is a really well detailed minifig. This minifig has a really great torso print that shows various buckles and pouches and just lots of printing all over the torso. This minifig also has a really great leg print that shows some knee pads, a strap, and a belt. Around the back of this minifig there is some more great printing on the torso, and a alternate face where the minifig looks angry. This is the one dinosaur that's included in this set, and this dinosaur is a pterodon. This is a really great representation of pterodon in Lego form. This pterodon has a really great mold that looks exactly like the pterodons in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park films. This pterodon also has some articulation. First of all you can open and close the mouth to give it different facial expressions, and you can flap the wings to put in different flight positions. Unfortunately these do break off really easily, but if you're careful with it, you can get some good articulation out of it. Here is the one build that's included in this set, and this build is a Jeep, and this is a really good LEGO representation of a Jeep. I really like the colour scheme for this build, because the grey and dark blue work really well together. I just wish there was a little bit more dark blue than grey. The thing that I really like about this build is the design. I especially like the front with the two lights on each side and the grille in the centre. I also really like this small gap in between where the body is and the wheels are because that just gives it a really unique and really good look. One other thing that I really like about this build is the space for minifig accessories. So there's a clip here and there's a little box at the back where you can store an egg. So in general there's a lot of space for minifig accessories build also includes a play feature. It's a simple play feature, but it doesn't really work that well overall. So what you do is you push on this plunger at the back, and that shoots out a net. But as you saw there, it doesn't really go that far, and you also have to sort of scrunch it up, and it just takes ages to reload. So in general, whilst it's a good idea, it's not very well executed. Overall, this is a really great build, despite the flaws that it does have. That's it for this review. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and subscribe.